Uh, good morning, uh, everybody. Welcome to Underwall. Uh, just a few days out from Christmas. Joins me, joining me today is the Acting Officer in Charge of Traffic Services. Um, today we launch a new campaign and new advertising uh, in the lead up to Christmas. Very, sh uh, very uh, clear, without any shame, uh, we are imploring people to recognise and remember that life is a gift. Uh, we've seen a tragic year on our roads, uh, and as I've reflected, uh, every death on our roads is tragic. So just because this year has seen a, a significant increase in the number of people who've lost their life, uh, coming from last year, where we had a record low number of people who died on our roads, last year was just as big a tragedy. Uh, every death on our roads is uh, compounded by the dozens and dozens and dozens of people who live and breathe that trauma. Uh, people are enjoying the best of Adelaide right now. It's a beautiful time of the year. The weather's looking good for Christmas. It's a really important time for people to be able to share some uh, precious downtime, hopefully, with their loved ones. But we have to do that safely. And if people are making decisions on our roads that are impeding them or stopping them or compromising their ability to spend that time with their family, spend that time with their loved ones, they've just got to think twice about this. Uh, the other reflection that I've made is people often ask me, what, what can we do for safety? You know, it's, it's, no, it's no understatement to say that police and the police family have had a, a really, really tough few months. There's been um, the death, of course, of Brevet Sergeant Jason Doig, the tragic loss of life of, the, of Charlie Stevens, police commissioner's son. Uh, and Nick's branch, the traffic services branch, the major crash investigators, continue to live this trauma on our roads as well. But if there's a motivation that you need coming into Christmas and the New Year, it's um, give our first responders a break. Give our police, give our firefighters, give our emergency workers, our nurses, our doctors a break. They don't get a break this Christmas. They don't get downtime this Christmas. They're working 24-7 protecting us, looking after us. Give them a break from the trauma that we see on our roads. Give them a break from responding to the trauma, the death, the serious injury. Give our police a break from that knock on the door of your family and your friends to let them know that something tragic has occurred. Give our emergency department nurses and doctors a break. That is the greatest gift that you can give this Christmas. Uh, good morning everyone, I'm Mick Turnbull from uh, Traffic Services Branch and uh, thank you for coming to the um, Life as a Gift launch uh, leading to Christmas. Um, as you'll all be aware, uh, unfortunately last night we had another life lost uh, out in Hargolf, which uh, makes it 110 lives lost so far this year, uh, compared to 66 this time last year, which is incredibly sad and disappointing for um, the families and all the people involved. Um, and also with uh, leading into Christmas, we're asking everyone um, as part of that holiday period, if they are uh, planning on going on extended trips, you know, long trips, is to make a plan and make sure that they're adequately rested and don't take unnecessary risks when driving on our roads because our information that you would all be aware of is that most of our fatalities, our lives lost, occurs on the rural roads. So if you are planning a trip, make sure that you've had adequate rest, um, that you're paying attention, you're not being distracted by um, people in the car, mobile phones, etc. that we always talk about, but you just really need to concentrate on what you're doing and when you're driving your car because it really matters to all of us in the South Australian community and the police. So um, we are kicking off a stop drug drive campaign on Friday afternoon at 4 o'clock and that will run until um, 11.59 on Sunday night. So we'll have um, uh, random drug and drink testing for our metropolitan area and on rural roads and we're just asking people to um, have a think about what they're doing and if you're not feeling quite up to doing the trip, have an alternative plan. Get someone else to do the trip, help you with the driving, all that sort of thing. 
And obviously with the incident last night in Hundorf, we've got um, a 25-year-old man from Blair who has died in that crash and another two people injured. So the impact from that, not only on the families of those people, but also, as the Minister mentioned, the first responders and the ongoing impact it has on those families, their friends, and, and on our health system as well. Any questions? Oh, yeah, with regards to that crash last yes. night, do we know if speed was a factor? Yes, we believe speed is a factor. And um, is, is, that, is that worrying for you? And were there other factors? Like, was everyone wearing seatbelts? And uh, was there any drugs or alcohol involved? I couldn't speak on the drugs part, but I believe everyone was wearing a seatbelt. But uh, it's another example on a rural road. If you're not familiar with that road and you're going at a, at a speed not appropriate, then the, the chances are you are going to lose control of that vehicle. And this is sort of thing we're looking at now. But we're just asking people, if you're not familiar with that road, either slow down or find an alternative way of getting to where you're going. As the Minister touched on the emotional toll, she yes. had to uh, I think it's been a challenging year for everyone. Uh, major crash investigators, this is their role, but they're human beings like everyone else, and it has uh, an impact on them, I'm sure. Um, but that is their role, is to investigate this sort of thing and deal with the families, and that's an ongoing thing for us. We don't just deal with the crash and forget about it. We're actually dealing with the families on an ongoing thing for us to do. Have you picked up any reason why this year has no time to have a Is there any particular problem or fatigue or speech? I think uh, in, in the rural sort of type of thing, it's people not driving to the conditions. You know, road conditions change pretty rapidly, um, and they're not adapting their driving behaviour to to that condition. And, and as a result, we're having serious road crashes in those rural areas. Um, but other than that, I would say it's people are more moving around more free, freely now, and uh, more open to travel. And so we're seeing more people on the roads. So no road tolls already so high. I mean, is this the time of year where you, you hope that it just doesn't get any higher than it? Sorry, hundred percent. road tolls already so high at this time of year. Is your real hope that it just doesn't get any higher than it is at the moment? Absolutely, yes. We'll do everything we can as far as enforcement and education and all those sorts of things. Try and remind people. Because I think generally people try and go and do the right thing. Um, but there's always those people who think they exempt from the rules or it's not going to happen to me. But we try to do the best we can. We're doing campaigns like this, hoping that they watch that material on their phones or on TV and get the message that it could happen to you. What's your reaction to waking up again to yet another death on our roads? Are you tired of sharing the same message? Um, well, I think it's overall sad for the family. Um, I think we need to respond to whatever's happening on our roads. And we can't control that to a point. So um, we just have to deal with what we're presented with. Um, and you know, we're just hoping that nothing more happens during this Christmas phase, because we're going to be a lot of people going to you know, rural areas, particularly um, with the family, we're just hoping that they get the message. Um, so this campaign's till Sunday. What about Christmas and Boxing Day? So we've still got um, Operation Safe Holidays. It's running all through that period. Um, that will be concentrating on Photo 5 throughout uh, the state. I would think so, yes. Because we've got a long weekend away, the public holidays have fallen, and it's going to be a lot of people moving around. Mr. Cobb is asking you um, another family's point, tragic death yesterday. Why did you think the action was about really good sense? Yeah, um, I'm heartbroken. It's an awful, awful incident. It's horrific. Um, my immediate thoughts are with the family and friends of Julie C. Um, this is just awful and, and uh, I know that there uh, will be uh, an extraordinary amount of support that is provided um, to those that are grieving, but this is, this is awful, this is horrific, and it comes, of course, at just the most uh, terrible time of year. Um, but I am heartbroken for this loss. Yeah, as you said, the chief psychiatrist has announced that he will facilitate an independent uh, review of the circumstances of which um, this individual was released from care or detention within the Royal Adelaide Hospital. That's very important. It's critical, and that will run uh, uh, at the same time as what is already a very 
uh, involved in resource-intensive investigation by South Australian Police. And so what's your understanding of the decision-making ahead of that release? Uh, I'm not briefed at all on the circumstances, I'm sorry. That, that, uh, in terms of the decision-making around the release, uh, I trust will be the subject of the review that will take in the facilitated by the Chief Psychiatrist uh, with input from um, SA Health. Is there any further investigation around those circumstances by SA Police running alongside the murder investigation? I, I have no doubt that uh, the, the investigation by SA Police will be necessarily comprehensive. I'm sorry, can Sorry, I've been all these sort of agencies like the health department, the same they're all working together to sort of cases Yeah. Without commenting on, on this one, which I just don't have the detail on, and, and I wouldn't, of course, want to be intervening on what is a very early stages of investigation by police, but broadly speaking, the collaboration and cooperation between agencies is uh, well established, it's well evolved. Um, there are significant resources that are dedicated by all agencies, um, uh, health, primal health, Department for Human Services, federal agencies. Um, of course, coordination is critical, and that coordination is led by very good people. Have, have police raised any frustrations or concerns with you about why this man was released or whether the process was properly followed ahead of his release? With have not spoken to police on that Look, I, I can't. I can't comment on the circumstances. Uh, I'm not briefed on the circumstances. Um, I uh, believe that the, the work being undertaken by the chief psychiatrist will be done urgently. Uh, I understand that we're done by an independent um, psychiatrist from New South Wales. That is important work. It's critical work, uh, and I would anticipate that will be uh, a fulsome set of answers and, and understandings of the circumstances. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.